this is actually a filing cabinet from the office. The only issue that we had here is that the drawer slides, drawer slides ceased and we couldn't get any of the drawers open anymore. The bottom drawer is completely locked in. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fix that yet, but it probably just has to do with the locking mechanism over here. But instead of scrapping it, I figured I'd take it home, get the drawer slides replaced on both drawers, and then I'm going to replace all of the handles on here as well, just to get, uh, get this usable again. So hopefully that'll be a quick uh, weekend project that I can get done and uh, get it back out of my garage and in the office. Oh. Oops. So this bottom drawer slide is broken the same way here uh, where the bearing track is actually stripped all the way out so the drawer slides are completely botched on this so I will have to replace this regardless or replace the drawer slides on this. I guess before I wreck this anymore I should take the drawer front off. Oops. Ow. This is the bearing track for this drawer. Garbage. That's why this drawer started to go. Look at the play in these screws. These aren't loosened yet. <laughs> well, that could explain a lot. Since this is the drawer that first had issues. Oh good, all the holes line up. Um, three of the four line up, so I'll make a new one. What I could do is hold the drawer in place and then screw it in from the side this way. But that's huge and awkward to handle, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is take the connection piece off, install it on the drawer over there, and then bring it back in, and then it'll slide right in place. There's one. All right, let's drop it in the filing cabinet. No!
So yes, I am a moron. Prying the door open just caused another problem that didn't exist before. To start this repair, I pulled the front of the drawer off and began to fashion a replacement with the material I had on hand. Starting with cutting the plywood to size. Once I had the board to size, I measured out the two dado cuts. One for the bottom of the drawer to fit into, and the other on top of the plywood to fit the file hanger that I pulled out of the original piece. After several test cuts to make sure I had it in the right place of course. Then off to installation. The bottom of the drawer originally had this bracer piece in, I decided to mount it back in using pocket screws. I like to think that it's stronger than it was before. So I forgot to record any of this, but basically I drilled the holes through the plywood that lined up with the existing mounting holes on the faceplate uh, and saw the screws and then I drilled four uh, pilot holes and did the same pocket screws that I did at the bottom here just to uh, provide some more hold in the middle here. <laughs> 